Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolfed Out Skyrim series. I am Roran. Now in this particular adventure, I am by myself. As I was walking out of my door, heading back home to Breeze Home from Markarth, there was a letter that was slipped under my note. Asking to meet somebody inside the Shrine of Talos here in Markarth. The unused Shrine of Talos. And apparently there has been a large conspiracy here in Markarth with the Forsworn, with the Silverblood family, and we are set on a task to investigate such action. Now, needless to say that we got ourselves in quite a bit of trouble. Also, a little helpful hint for those of you who are trying to play this with zero bounty, like I am. You will unavoidably gain a thousand bounty here in the Reach when doing this particular adventure. I will have the console command below in order for you, after you're done with the quest, if you have played this before, to reset your stats just in case took me quite a bit to find but this is just for you guys if you're on the PC version anyway for those of you who are on the console on the PlayStation and on the Xbox sorry this fix won't work for you alright hope you guys like this video and enjoy Well, I guess that's it. Do I need anything else here in Markarth? Uh, other than furnishing the rest of this house, I think I'm all done here. I helped everyone that I needed to help. Argus, watch over the place. I'm headed back to Bree's home uh, to find Serana. She's really wanting to get started on the on the Ethereum Forge. Oh, what's that? Ultra's Note. That name sounds familiar. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. Okay, that is definitely familiar. It's that one guy that we ran into when we first entered Markarth. The one guy that ended up giving us a another note <laughs> all right then might as well see what this guy wants the temple of Talos is kind of hidden but it's right under the temple of Dabella I'm surprised Markarth still even has a Temple of Talos. Alright then. You know, this is actually my first time being in here. This actually doesn't look half bad, being that it's empty. And you must be the person I need to talk to. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You'll do? Is that, is that what you say? You'll do? What the hell are you talking about? You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. And you want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Okay, what do you mean about Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silverblood Inn. And who was this Wayland guy? Where did he live? 
He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. And you said you've also looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. You're probably going to end up dead. Be careful who you talk to. Mm, be careful. Yeah, I think you're going to end up dead. This is probably the stupid thing to do. I don't die that easily. Alright, I guess we're going to look into this. Silver blood in, here we go. Come on in. The silver blood in has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Now if I remember correctly, it was this woman I saved. Hello there. Oh, it's you. The one from the market. Yes, do you remember anything about the attack from before? Not much. One moment I was buying a necklace and the rest is just a blur. Any idea why Waylon attacked you? No. I was just buying jewelry for my sister in Cyrodiil. I've never even seen that man before. Okay. And what brings you here in Markarth? Just visiting. I had some business here. That's all. Hmm. You know you can tell me. I did save your life. Was it that obvious? Damn. I must be losing my touch. I'm one of General Tullius's agents. I was sent to investigate the Treasury House and the Silverblood family. They own Sidna Mine. One of the toughest jails in Skyrim. I was hoping I could buy or steal the deed, but I don't think that's how things work here. Mark my words. Thonar Silverblood was behind that attack in the market. Somehow. Hmm. Thonar Silverblood. Really? I wonder, is there any more information that she has? She has to have a room here. Ah, uh, this is probably it. Eh, yeah, not bad. A good pick for a master lock. Anything in here? Ah, Margaret's journal. Meeting at the Treasury House later today took them long enough. These people act like they know everything. Thronar Silverblood is the youngest brother, but he is obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners into selling to him. He even employs that wispy girl at the door to detour troublemakers like me. General Tullius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to send you mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the Reach. They say no one escapes. Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Thronar. There are shadows all around every corner of this city, and I know I'm being watched. So that's why she was attacked. Hmm. Interesting. You. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Who the hell are you? No one tells me what to do. Hmm. What happens? I'm curious. 
funny. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. Okay, that does seem a little fishy. But how did the guard know that it was... Hmm... That doesn't make any sense. The city's got eyes. Be careful when you're out there. Found out Margaret was investigating Thronar. So the clues point to the treasury house then. That makes sense. Thonar is involved in every facet of the city. Here's the gold I promised. Keep following the trail and there will be more in it for you. Hmm. Keep your eyes and ears open. Alright, let's go investigate the Warrens now. Hello there. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? So, only the poor or the sick live down here? That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Alright then. Do you happen to know Waylin? Oh yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Hmm. Do you think I can have the key to his room? Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. That is true. I don't exactly belong here, but it is important. I need to I need to take a look at it. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. All right. Thank you much. Uh-huh. Now, where is Wayland's room? Is it here? No. Hello there. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. And yeah, that's the Gaines room. Yeah, frack him up the ass. Eltris's. Wait, that's his room. He lives down here? Okay, let's take a look. What do we got in here? We got his key, got a chest, Wayland's note. Wayland, you have been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow. You will know what to do. N. Some guy named N. Hmm. Let's check out Eltris's room too. If there's anything that we should discover in here. And he lives surprisingly poor too. But where did he get that money? To pay me? That's odd. All right then, let's get out of here. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Really? Who sent you? Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Really? Is, real fight, eh? is that all you got? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, now you're using your weapon? Oh, look at that. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Oh, enough. No sense now. Body slam! Hooah! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> uh, my friend from the <laughs> from the Smith helped me out. one drop of silver. I'm taking it out of your hide. I'm being as careful as I can. So this guy ended up attacking me. I guess he didn't want to talk things out. Shame. Droyston's note. Friend, got to deal with a certain nosy visitor in the city. Nepos the nose wants him roughed up in the usual way. But I can grab a pint at the Silver Blood Inn afterwards. Should be easy. Dryston. Well. You just talk back to me. I'm not paid to listen. I'm paid to keep you working. Now work. Well. That seems to be quite a predicament. Let's go turn all this stuff in. The city's got eyes. Be careful when you're out there. It seems like this Wayland got his orders from Nippos. Nippos the nose? He's been in Markarth forever. And he's well respected among the natives of the Reach. Good work. Here's your gold. I have a feeling Nepos gets his own orders, though. If you find out, I'll have more for you. Hmm. Be careful who you talk to. Okay, this Nepos guy must be some kind of lieutenant. Now, I know he lives somewhere around here. Does he live up or down? Elion's door? Nope, not him. Oh, this is his house. He lives right next door to me. That this bastard lives right next door to me. All right then. Excuse me. What's your business here? Who are you? If you must know, I'm the maid. And the master of the house is old and needs his rest. So if you don't have any business, leave. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send him in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. Well... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Let me get ready. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now what is it you want? You sent a thug after me. I didn't quite like that. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Then, why don't you quit? Why? Because my king told me to. Madanoc. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Okay, who is Madanok? He is the King in Rags, the man who once held all the Reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city, directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. Hmm. You mentioned an uprising. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. 
That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. Hmm. You're quite... You're quite free-thinking whenever telling me these... All this, all this evidence. I suspect that there is going to be a reason for that. My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen <laughs> coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Actually, I think I will. You stand no chance of beating me. I'm sorry, but you're not leaving <laughs> Really? <laughs> Don't mess with a vampire werewolf hybrid. Your information about Mark Hearth is quite impressive, but your information about me was not. <laughs> I shall take all of this, but I have a feeling that the person who sent me on this is probably already dead. I grow guilt-ridden in my old age, so many of the young sent to their deaths, all in the name of the Forsworn, all in the name of Modernach. My king who watches us from behind the iron bars is sitting in mine. How long have you served you? Since an uprising against the Norse. There was ever a time when all that violence has an overshadowed our destinies. What choice do I have but to do as I am instructed? Okay then. Does any one of you have any other clues? No, it doesn't look like it. Your forsworn agent. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'm going to have to get myself captured in some way, form, or fashion and investigate inside a Sydney mine because they won't let just anybody in unless they're a criminal. <sighs> yeah, he was quite well established, though house right next door to me. Oh, look at that. The guards. And there he is. Lying dead. Just as I... Just as I saw. We want you. You just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Hmm. You're corrupt. And I believe Thoronar is paying you. But the person inside your own prison, Madanak, is behind all these killings. You think you're the only one who knows that? We had a nice little deal going between Thoronar and Madanak until you showed up. You'll have plenty of time to take it up with the King in Rags while you're serving a life sentence in sit in the mine. Fine. I'll come quietly. You'll never see the sun again. You hear me? No one escapes sit in the mine. No one. Jail. Most jails allow you to serve your time by sleeping in your cell's bed. You can also try to escape. 
Your equipment can be found in personal belongings just somewhere in the jail. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sydney mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Yeah, sure. I'm not going to be in here that long, though. Good. All right. Open her up. Now you, get down there. Uh, couldn't just leave me with something decent? Or some food. Just in case if I'm in here longer than I have to be. Ah, oh, here's a couple of pickaxes. That'll have to do for now. These pickaxes are way too big. Hello there. What are you in for, new blood? Uh, murder. Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, new blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. A shiv? Small blade, easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. Okay. I'm looking for somebody named Madanok. If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madanok, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkle the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkle the Beast. Uh, Borkle the Beast? I take it he's that orc right there? Madinok's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Okay. Where are the guards? They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. So what are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. Hmm. Why did you join the Forsworn, then? Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in your kinsmen's blood. Best you not be there on that day, Nord. You do realize Forsworn are also Nords. Mm -hmm. And I'm half-elf. You know, why, why am I using a pickaxe? <laughs> I know fucking magic. I know magic. <laughs> okay. Let's look around this place. See if we can find anything. Hello there. Too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. What are you in here for? The first time, thieving. The second time, thieving. The third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. Alright, how long have you been in here? First it was six months. Then a year. Then two years. Now I'm in for life. Ugh, that sucks. Do you happen to know where I could find a shiv? Ah, you want protection? 
I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duoc has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Alright. I think I can get you some. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. Alright then. Ooh, the bun. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Yeah, you could say that. How long have you been in here? A couple of years. I wasn't uh, forsworn when I came, but I joined up when I got in. Easier that way. And what are you in here for? Guards say I murdered someone. I was just sleeping off some meat in my aunt's house. That didn't stop them from arresting me. Hmm. I don't even know who they said I killed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello there. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. How long have you been in here? Long enough. And what happened to you? Why are you in here for? I don't want to talk about it. Well, mm. well he must be salty with that one. Okay. Now, where are we going to find this other guy? What is over here? Anybody? Huh. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. How long have you been in here? Year seven, I think. Surprised I haven't cut my own throat out by now. But something keeps me going. And what are you in here for? I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen, but the Silver Bloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. And I hear you might have some skooma. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. I... I need some. Just think of it as I owe you a favor. Getting the shakes, huh? All right, take it. Old gods keep you. See you. Okay. Hmm, that was pretty easy. I was just got to turn this in. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. I just happen to have your skooma right here. Here's your ship. I promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? I won't use a shiv. Alright then. Well, maybe. Now it's time to trade this thing off. I wonder if I could trade it to him. He'll let me in. The new meat. So soft. Tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I could say exciting. I felt the rush of blood and smiled, but that was due to reasons yeah, you probably don't want to know about. A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. Okay. How long have you been down here? Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits up until then. But these Forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. And what happened... What? Why are you here? Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. <laughs> I see... I hear that you are the person I need to talk to to see Matanok. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one. 
but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> you are in luck. I have one right here. All right, head on in, but don't try anything in there. Madanak is smarter than you think. All right then. Fight well. That was easy enough. Hmm. Well, there's a pathway. <laughs> this must be a way out. I can smell fresh air. And dwarven stuff. Hmm. Hello there. I take it you are Madinok. Well, well, look at you. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Hmm. I could say revenge. I could say I want my freedom. Uh, let's go with freedom. Your freedom? Yes, but even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. Understand? How? There's a man named Bregg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Okay. I have some questions about the Forsworn, though. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. But that doesn't make any sense. The Snow Elves were here before the Nords. The Nords came, which were technically called, um, Atmora? Yeah. Alright, I want to know more about Thawnor. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Zonar's Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. Hmm. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. I see. That's how he does it. He convinces people who come in here that it was the guard's fault when it was his. Because of the slight truce between the two. Alright. In order to get out of here and clear my name, I'm gonna have to play nice. And whenever all these people are at least expecting it, I will take them all out. I was told to come talk to you. Madanok asked me to hear your story. My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? Uh, let's see... Well, technically this would be the first I was in jail, but 
It was in Helgen. I was sent to the executioner. So you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? I have a wife. And friends. Uh, they're... They're not in Markarth. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenak once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. Ooh. Oof. Oh, dude. I'm sorry to hear what happened to you. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. Hmm. But do you really think your story justifies the murders the forsworn have committed? I'm not Manadnak! I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Till next time. Wow. I'll some make his death quick. You're a slave, just like us. Hey. Hey, language. I talked to this brag guy. He wanted me to. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family. Each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. So... You'll help me escape, then. Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Have you met Grisbar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. I can't kill him without a shiv. Ah, Bork will muscle one out of you on your way in? Fine. Take this one. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. Well, looks like I have to kill somebody now. Sorry, I'm gonna have to do this. Oh wow, yeah, more than one. It is done. Grisfar is dead. You finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. <laughs> yeah, it 
it's not going to be that easy. What's going on, Madanak? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on needing him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Marka, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The Reach I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Into the tunnel. Let's go. while I have a word with our favorite outsider. I had Kai recover all the things the Nords stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this, it's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. So what happens now? Now, I announce to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. Last mistake! <laughs> That's all you got? Yeah, sorry about that. I had to take it. I promised you... Uh, come on. Move the thingy. I promised you all we would escape Sidna Mine together, and I have found a way. If I die before I can show it to you, then search the cells near my room. Use my key. There's a tunnel. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right. Get him. Kill him. Kill. Die, damn you. Well, Thanks for the bloody help. My eyes inside Sidna Mine tell me that Madanak is dead. You've done a great service to the Silver Blood family. I've had the Jarl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends. So, you and your thugs had me arrested in the first place. And you've proven that was the best move I could have made. Don't give me that look, you're free to go. Here, how about a little token for your efforts? My family's ring and all the things the guards confiscated from you when you were jailed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to figure out how we're going to fill our recently emptied mine. <sighs> Is that all? The Silver Bloods pay their debts. You have my thanks. Now, gotta get it the hell out of these rags. What the frack? Talk to your guards. Apparently this one doesn't know. I'm going home. And get changed. Cause I feel like shit. And take a bath. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this Wolf Doubt Skyrim video. Now remember to comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. Be sure to check out my other LP series. 
Now, if you want to know the mods I use, check the description below. You guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!